This I wanna nail sports to the one Top vlog at top YouTube channel No matter which sports here we got it covered Subscribe and hit the notification bell What's up my wonderful sports to the bone family What's up, what's up? Welcome back, welcome back my viewers and subscribers Alright, so we have a couple of things to take a look at in this one Yeah, we see where Coach Phil Simmons He has actually dropped the hammer Letting these players know that here what? He's not going to be begging or asking or pleading with anybody to represent West Indies cricket. So we're going to talk about that. Plus we see where Trent Bolt is the latest player to give up his central contract with New Zealand. Citing that he will be spending more time with his family and playing domestic cricket. So we'll touch on that a little bit also. We also see where um, the CPL, CPL personnel are coming out and saying that the tickets have been sold out but they are suspecting that persons would have you know, gone ahead and done some stuff that they shouldn't have done as it relates to purchasing some tickets so we're going to talk about that a little bit also but before we go any further as per usual i'm just going to ask you to go right ahead my viewers and subscribers and hit that subscribe button if you have not yet subscribed all right so we're going to start things off with coach phil simmons so last night i would have uh giving you guys a video with the selector uh desmond haynes reminding us or letting us know that the players that a lot of us are actually calling for they are the ones making themselves unavailable and he didn't go didn't go in too much of a details just let us know that they are unavailable no coach phil simmons when he did his part of the interview said hear what and i quote it hurts and there is no other way to put it. I don't think I should be begging people to play for their country. I think if you want to represent West Indies, you make yourself available. So this is going out to all of the so-called unavailable players. Again, my peeps, it hurts. And there is no other way to put it. I don't think I should be begging people to play for their country i think if you want to represent west indies you make yourself available point blank that is what the head coach phil simmons is saying my viewers and subscribers so all those who is all those talking about um they need to reach out to them and they need to do this and that apparently coach phil simmons is over it don't know if it, if they have tried to reach out a couple of times already and um things not really working out so that is that is it my viewers and subscribers coach phil simmons dropping down the hammer letting us know that whether going into new zealand series going into the world cup they are not going to be begging anybody that claims that they are unavailable all right let us continue into another cricketing story we see where trent bolt who was recently named in the squad to play west indies announced he actually announced yesterday that he is looking to um step into the next phase of his life you understand so he's he's quoted as saying i feel the time is right to move into this next phase end quote now the information that they have there um well he went on to say i still have a big desire to represent my country and i feel i have the skills to deliver at the international level however I respect the fact that not having a national contract will affect my chances of selection. And this comes after he announced that um, he is going to be giving up his central contract so he can spend more time with his family and also to play some domestic, more domestic cricket. Right? As a Trent Bolt has been released from his New Zealand cricket, cricket central contract after the fast bowler requested to spend more time with his family and to make himself available for t20 leagues so that is what is happening my viewers and subscribers i don't know if we're going to see a couple more players going down this route just uh, the other day we saw ben stokes stepping away and saying here what this is too much on his body he's giving up um odi cricket and uh you know trent bolt is another legend of the game the man would have represented New Zealand very well. Would have taken a whole lot of wickets right across all three formats. And according to him, it is time for him to settle down and make sure that he's spending more time with his family. Now, Jason Gillespie, the former pacer, 
wrote something on Twitter, and this is what he, say, he said. Whether we like to agree or not, the cricketing landscape has been changing for a while now. The absolute vast majority of players want to play for their country first and foremost. There will come a time, however, when priorities shift. He went on to say a 33-year-old seamer wanting to maximize his earning potential whilst he is um, whilst he's still in shape and spend more time with his young family is no problem. He says it's hard to argue with that. We need to explore ways to make sure international cricket stays at the forefront of everyone's thinking going forward. So this is the same thing that we have been um, discussing on, on Sports to the Bone program here that, you know, we don't know if CWI can find some sort of ways to make sure that the players get a chance to play their, um, their T20 leagues and also represent us. We see where players are now. The priorities are going to change, my peeps. Once a player reach, especially up in the 30s, and they see they know their career is coming to a close, they are going to try and see how much of the bag they can secure before they call it quits. So we can't even knock a man, my viewers and subscribers, at the end of the day. So that is it where Trent Bolt is concerned. You know, we wish him all the best, and we're definitely going to miss him as a top, top bowler. You understand? So, um, mm hmm let us just finish up, my peeps, with this uh, little bit of news coming out of the CPL. They say international, um, well, the initial tickets for CPL knockouts sold out. They say more tickets to be made available. More tickets to be made available. Right? He went on to say, well, the, the article says the initial batch of tickets for the Hero Caribbean Premier League knockouts have been sold. More tickets will be made available in the coming days they say with exception of the final on the 30th of september which has fully sold out people went out and purchased all of the tickets already my peeps so they say as part of hero cpl ticketing and anti-fraud process the league will be contacting a select number of customers who have purchased tickets to ask them to verify their purchases they say if these ticket holders are unavailable are and unable to verify their purchases by supplying the required documents, those transactions will be cancelled and the tickets will be put back on sale. Right? So they see where they, they see some um fans apparently are, are purchasing way more tickets than they are supposed to be purchasing. So that is something, my viewers and subscribers, that we have to keep an eye on. You know, people are definitely going to try. You're going to have persons that are always going to try to see if they can buy a whole lot of tickets and then try and sell them back. Those are those are things that always happen, my viewers. But it's pretty good to see that um, the tickets have been sold out, especially for the final. The final is done set. So Guyana, um, the, the stadium in the final will be jam pack. Semi-finals also, as they say, have been sold out. So... You know, they're going to be reaching out to the people and, 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 and checking the tickets to see whether or not all of them are legitimate or the, any sort of fraud is going on. So, ah, yeah, remember now, my viewers and subscribers, the CPL starts on the 31st of August. And that is definitely something that we are looking forward to. But it's good. It's, it's, it's good, my peeps, you know, uh, quite a few, a couple of years, a couple of years, um, people were unable to go out because of um, the, the, the big C. So now that people are able to go out and watch cricket again, they are definitely making use of the opportunity. So we're definitely going to be keeping an eye on the development over the next coming weeks to see if they would have spotted anybody that would have gone ahead and would have secured tickets illegally or anything like that. Big up on yourself, my peeps. Until later on, I'm out.